Well, he used to coach the Vikings, Norman, Yep. But he will tell you that was never who he was, just what he did. And in the year of COVID, it's a good time he remind us what's important, Bud Grant. But we were just talking. What was, the, what was the happiest time of your life? If you look back and you say, this era was the happiest time of my life, what would it be for Bud Grant? Right now. You really? Um, well, you know, it, uh, it's a good question because <clears throat> it depends on what kind of life you've led. If you were raised poor or disadvantaged or in a household that wasn't loving or, you know, split families, I think that's... Those are, those are tough times for everybody. But I've been fortunate in my life to not have those tough times. I mean, I can sit and, and uh, reminisce and have memories, and they're all good. I have no bad memories. All my memories of my life are good. I mean, from, I mean we, were, we were lower middle class. We didn't, you know, we struggled to live with money and the amenities. But all, all my experiences have been good. They're all positive. So I can sit down and entertain myself because I've got good memories. If you don't have good memories and you think of the bad things, well, you don't like to think about them. But I can sit down and, and look out the window and entertain myself because all my memories are good. You grew up in the Depression. Is it different for someone that grew up in the Depression? Do, do they see life differently if you grew up in the Depression? I mean, you didn't know what you were missing. Uh, you know, I mean, I, I can remember my mother counting the carrots and the potatoes and the rutabagas, and that was for the week, and the beans, and, and you know, she'd bake a pan of brownies, and I'd get one brownie a, a night, and that'd last all week, and I never knew any different, and I never slept on a bed till I got uh, married, really. I slept on couches and cots and roll-out roll, roll out beds and bunks, and, and I was in the service, and so, so I never really got into bed till I was, till I was married. You do not seem, Bud, as we sit here and talk, like you're afraid of death. Is, is that accurate? That's part, of, that's part of living. I mean, I think having to do... Um, the hardest death I've dealt with was dogs. I mean, you know, if, if you ever... Everybody's had a dog, and if, you know, to lose a dog is like losing a family member. And so I've experienced that a dozen times. It, it, it's, it's great that we're all different. I think yeah. That, that's important. I mean... If we were all alike, that would be a boring life. But there's so many different aspects to our life that, uh, you know, it's, it's good. It's good. Now, Norman, I know you haven't met Bud Grant, but you saw that and I saw you the way you were watching it. Those are truly words of wisdom. They are. I mean, that is a man who has lived life and taken all the lessons from it and has been able to distill it in a way that we can all understand. He also has a way of, when you go hunting with him, for example, He's going to enjoy the hunting trip whether he gets game or not because why? Because he's curious and he's interested in what the new day brings and he wants to see the birds sing and he wants to see the owl in the tree and he wants to see all those things. Mm -hmm. and I've sat with him countless times at his home in his office doing speaking engagements with him and he never ceases to amaze me at some little something, a proverb he'll give you that you take with you for the rest of the day. Like, like one of his sayings is the most important thing you can be in life is a great decision maker. Some people can make decisions, some people can't. You don't think of it that way, but no. think about that. Mm -hmm. If you can be a great decision maker, you probably can live a pretty good life. Yeah, and obviously all sorts of things going into making those decisions, knowing what you know, yep. knowing what you don't know. Trusting yourself. Right. Yeah. yeah, so it's just a pleasure any time that I'm with him and I cherish it in his 93 years. It's just great to have him a part of, uh, is it still part of this sports uh, state? Yeah, yeah, it is. It's fantastic.